What's good gamers, I'm your host Yakman. Today's video is covering the new and improved airdrop system that we have in the Fatal Z servers. You will not find this anywhere else unless they stole it. Huge shout out to Prime for always bringing great content to the Fatal Z server, and just as equally huge of a thanks to Wardog and Arrakis for working their magic on making this mod as awesome as it is. What's so awesome about it? I'm glad you asked. From the time of server restart, every 39 minutes there will be a new airdrop event deployed. A server-wide notification will pop up in the top center of your screen to alert you that in two minutes an airdrop will land at a specified location. The airdrop platform will not stay in that spot the entire 39 minutes, so don't dawdle too long if you're trying to get the goods. There's also a one minute timer notification that will alert as well. If you get there before it does, you'll have the chance to see it spawn in. Otherwise, you should be able to see it when you get close, it should render in, and a spinning bright sign will be rotating above it to let you know exactly where the platform is. This is where things start to get really beautiful with this mod. I should stop calling it a mod. It's not technically its own mod. It's an override to the existing airdrop mod, but it is custom to this server, and it is completely within bounds and rules of all the modders involved. If you are flying a helicopter to the airdrop, jumping out will still automatically disqualify you from being able to do the airdrop if caught. There is also an invisible platform above it, so don't bother trying to skydive on on it or land your helicopter on top. If you get your helicopter stuck on top, it is your problem and you will be responsible for retrieving it. Once you've reached the platform area, run up the stairs of the platform up to the big red button. You're going to want to have vehicles placed for which you can fight from the top of before hitting this red button. So if you have teammates, make sure they're set up before you do that. Once you're ready, look down at the red button and press F as prompted to activate the airdrop. A gray notification box will appear on everyone's screen to let them know your name has claimed the airdrop. The large mob of usual suspects will spawn in a 50 to 70 meter range from the airdrop and you fight it out like usual. Make sure all the mobs are killed. If an admin is on, ask for them to double check and make sure the area is clear of all those mobs so you get the most profit and no freshies get any random surprises. Once you've skinned everything up and you've looted the box for the juicy goodies inside don't forget to claim in discord and well that's about it you'll still have the same number of airdrops per day and all the rules will basically be the same other than the way in which you claim it has been changed and hopefully this will solve a lot of claiming disputes that have happened in the past and make a much nicer gaming experience for all of us love you guys to death on the fatal z server don't forget safe travels After just 47 minutes of PAL World gameplay, Prime has found a lust for the blood of his pals.